This dispute goes back to 2021 pay talks, where basically, you know, the company didn't deliver what they promised. We had a vote, it was unanimously rejected by the membership. The company then promised us that they'd do this progressive pay and implement it on the 1st of April. They never done it at all. They also promised us a 0.5% in the 1st of July. They never delivered again, never delivered at all. This paid discussions for 2022 and we wanted above inflation. We found out that they made I think, an estimate of 60 million, 60 million pounds a year after the wage bill. And we also found out by marketing that they put up the price of containers and the, the, line, the shipping lines to keep up with inflation, but we, we, we weren't allowed to. So, no, we just feel let down by them, we weren't more. We went two years right through a pandemic and um, we've just been lied to full stop. So there's 600 dockers out now and as you can see the support that we're getting is amazing. We're going nowhere until we get what's deserved. We need a fundamental approach, a fundamental redistribution of wealth and power. What we need is synchronised action. We need all men and women in this country coming back together, back to trade union value. We unite with RMT, the teachers, the health service workers. We're going to win. We're the working class. We're back. Victory to the dockers in Liverpool. Victory to the working class all over this country. We want you to know there are Labour MPs that will appear on this picket line when you need us. The dockers! Get it!